yeah. have been a huge amount of development over the last three weeks. Yeah. Um, so we're now up to version four of Boy Bike. <laughs> version three here has the ability to plug and unplug motors, which gives us the ability to move between a low power motor or a high power motor, which we have here. So as we're still in testing phase, determining what size motor is optimum for what size condition. But all up the features of the boy bot, it's light, it's fast, it's extremely manoeuvrable. The top works rotate independent of what's going on the bottom. Uh, this is a direction of indicator of the stern of the boat, not necessarily a direction of the wind. And inside the box, where all the magic happens, we have a GPS, a gyro, flight controller, a modem, all the switches to allow changing of different size motors depending whether the ESC is on the inside or the outside. And we have the ability to unplug the battery without disrupting any of the internals. Next version, version 4 when it arrives, will have a clear plastic hinged clip-on lid and it will be a slightly smaller box. So looking forward to that. Oh, you know, just uh, the first boy bot was launched, I think, at the beginning of <laughs> April of this year, after about six weeks worth of work. Um, significantly indebted to the Arju pilot community, of which the open source software that we are using, uh, to Mr. Steve Keep at uh, um, RS Aero in Sydney, to Mr. Trevor Jack here in Brisbane for helping me and collaborating, putting all this. In, uh, in process. Uh, so far with the large motor we think a budget for these uh, vehicles would be about $1,500 for this vehicle and with the smaller scale motor around about a thousand Australian. The next version, version 4, then version 5 and version 6 we've already pretty much got mapped out the improvements we wish to see. Um, we'll see us having one transmitter to multiple buoys and then a shore based system where the fleet of boys can be run from a laptop or an iPad or something similar to that where we can see it all in real time in mapping, get all the telemetry including wind direction, wind speed etc etc and so the course can be uh, arranged and changed in an instant from the shore. So can a club buy these? Absolutely, the, the club can buy them. These two are actually the property of uh, Wynnum Manley Radio Model Yacht Club. Uh, they've been first and very helpful in uh, getting me going. Um, and hopefully by Christmas, with the help of a few others, we'll have production models available. And who do they contact you? Uh, contact me in the first instance. Um, Andrew R. Wilson, 62, at gmail.com. <laughs> So that control box comes off, and there's your, there's your different components. These are extremely cheap, $18 a pair, that sort of thing, no real money in that. So that's the whole idea, was to make it cheap and simple to own, maintain, uh, change. The top works can now go on. <laughs>